Ah, good day. Have you lost, bro? I got another motor here. Have you lost? There you go. I didn't see that motor. I popped this one, but I didn't see that one there. there. Let's pop this motor. Interesting. Okay, it goes one way there. Alright, let's pop this motor. Let's go onto these wires here somewhere. I right, on a live stream last night. I didn't, uh, yeah, I got pretty bloody um, buggered by midnight. I was buggered. I couldn't even keep my bloody eyes open, so. And yeah, this uh, motor pop was uh, actually pretty good. Uh, Wicked XC or David, so. I just watched that video in the next that part of the live stream when I got up in the morning, so. Yeah, it was a good pop. I'll tear that one here down. Before we do that, we'll uh, get to this motor and pop this one. This one might be a bit more difficult because it's got no uh, exposed. I might have to, um, yeah, bypass all this bloody circuitry in the back of it to pop this motor. Put power straight to those terminals in there. Okay, I got the little uh, circuit board off the back of it. It is a Mabuchi motor. It used to be uh, making, yeah, a Japanese company. It used to make the uh, motors in Japan. And then they're all made in China these days. These motors just get cheaper and nastier. They pretty much cost nothing to make because these have been bloody a common motor using cheap printers that are designed to be thrown away. Cost them next to nothing to make that little motor. Looks like I can only go one way. Interesting. It's not strong enough for doing anything though. It's a clutch in there. It won't actually drive like a little uh, beef key. Anyway, let's uh, pop this motor. Okay, if you let's get set up, plug the valve out again. Let's get popping. Got to find which uh, polarities on this motor so it spins the right way. Right, plug it in there. Right, unplug that. Put that in there. Alright, drag and zero power on. Let's see what it does. Ah, oh, wrong way. Power off. Plug safety first. Yeah, it catches it to stop the motor completely. So I've got to go the other way here. Let's go there. Get to go without getting a short out. Yeah. <sighs> wires are too stiff. Hang on, I've got to get some different wires. They're too stiff. Hitting the chassis of the motor and shorten out, so I've got to use these. There we go. Not worth soldering extra bits of wire on that little motor and playing and it pop it anyway. All right, let's give it a test now. All right, we exit zero, power on. Safety first, I think that's it. Yeah, the uh, thing's shorted to the body of the motor. Damn it, it shorts itself out now. Yeah, it still feels all right. I think, it, I, think I popped it yet. Yeah. Movement of the motor short of the um, wires out there. Fair action zero, power one. That's popped. Turn that down to 20 volts. And I'll put it for a screwdriver to turn and see if it does nothing. Yeah. It is dead. Yep. Yeah, it's dead. That wasn't very interesting. Zero, unplug safety first. Let's take these motors apart. Look at all of its guts there. Now the bits of a uh, commutator and bits of brush. There's a ring that the uh, armature winding is soldered onto. Plastic assembly there. 
Yeah, the brush holder is completely broken and melted away. I'm gonna get the, uh, um, uh, the armature out. It's got, it's got a spline shafts. So it be a bit difficult this one. Yeah, might come out. These Johnson motors tend to be pretty well built compared to the Mabichi ones. Yeah. Johnson Electric there. Yeah, these company are made, their motors are usually of better quality than the uh, Mabuchi ones, even though they're both made in the same place. There we go, you can see there, no more commutator, it's all gone. Let's see, get the other one apart. The old system has got a little uh, cordless jewel to our planetary gearbox in it. That goes in there. There you go, a planetary gearbox, interesting stuff. In the hell am I holding this thing? Here we are. It's one half of it. And there's the other half. Bit that the motor goes in. And that goes in there. And there's a motor there. I'll undo those two bolts and retain this uh, little gearbox. Because this is quite cool. And there's a fully assembled gearbox again. There's where the motor goes as it comes out. Look at that, huh? Kind of reminds me of a little miniaturized uh, model of a starter motor. Interesting. There you go. <laughs> There's a motor. Doesn't sound too happy. At least my, my beach motors are nowhere near as good quality. There's the rest of the commentator there. This is all one piece magnet all the way around. Here's an uh, armature, you see some of the windings blow off there. That's where they came unsoldered. Yep, brushes flew off. This little disc here is where they all soldered onto. They all twisted itself. Yeah. Spent every single com bar is missing. There we go, unwind it now. This is only a, that one's only a three pole. This one is a five pole. Yeah, these are Johnson and it's a definitely better quality. And then the ink pump. Let's pop the ink pump motor. This might get a little bit messy. I'm going to crack this up slowly. You can see that nozzle there. And then bring that closer. That's the nozzle there where the ink comes out. Okay, power on, bags on zero, crank it up. That is cool. That is cool. Why am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, oh, do you see ink bubbles there? Eh? This getting hit there. I'm going to plug the safety first, let's switch the polarity around to see what happens. Not even that bloody warm at all. And little uh, plastic disc here was hitting the uh, alligator clip. Let's give that a go. Zero. There we go. Interesting stuff. Alright, we're going to shut the power off. 
Now I've got some sort of sponge or something over there. Hold it into a bucket and see how much ink comes out of it. So I'm quite never going to get something to dispose of that ink. I might flush that ink tank out. Flush it out nice and clean. I reckon I can use that for something. Interesting stuff. I think I'll pop this motor. It's far too interesting, this little uh, mechanism here. Way too interesting. Oh. Let's see what happens now. Oh, hang on. I've got to pull the cartridges out. Ah, oh, bugger it. It expired anyway. Cartridges are all expired. Might as well empty them out. Alright, power on. Um, hang on a minute. We've sprung a leak. We're going outside the, uh... Ah, oh, damn it. I need something bigger than this. This is going to get messy. Power off. I'm plug safety first. I need a bigger bucket. I'm bored of the old ink out of those expired cartridges. Ooh, look at that. Flush them. What a mess like it's supposed to clean this out. I want to see in detail the um, nozzles. Clean them out so we can see them a bit better. Be very careful with the DC here, not isolated, so don't want to touch any wires, even though it's low voltage but it's unisolated, so gotta be careful here. Yeah, getting a bit too excited now. One, two, three, four, five, six. All six centimeters worth. Okay, well, and it sucks. Put this little vacuum tank at the back here. This little white thing at the back, I was in the camera into that, and when I turn it up and down, you see the plastic I'm sucking. That's the reservoir tank. So somehow tapping all those ink things and clean all that ink reservoir out. Interesting stuff. Yeah, this one is way too interesting to pop. Look at that. The pet is so damn made, uh, made so damn well. Why would I make the ink so bloody stupidly expensive and expire and be obsolete in the next to no time? Bloody bastards. It's the worst thing about printers, they get nastier and more and more obsolete. I think we're out of ink. Turn that down. Power off. Unplug safety first. Yeah, I've got to reckon about a hundred, uh, about a hundred millimeter, a hundred millimeters of ink. And that little printing nozzle there, pretty good uh, detail. Oof. Wish there was an easy way to drive that nozzle. Be interesting to draw some patterns with it. Clean all that off. Alright, I'll get some uh, methylated spirits and try and clean that. Want to get a good detailed look at that. Okay, it seems to be one it seems to be bleeding. Get some pumpage going when you see a bleed. There you go, look at that. It's like a cut, a wound. Unreal. 
amazing bit of technology. This is actually a photo smart printer, by the way. It's quite an advanced piece of technology, that. There you go, starting to bleed again. It's alive. It's bleeding. It's alive. Push this on flat, it should get all the colours nice and lined up. There we are. Zoom out there. And there's the imprint I got. Interesting. Go again. There we are. Pretty interesting stuff once you break it down and learn how, how it all works. That'd be enough for now. Thanks for watching.